people see things as they are and say why, I dream things that never were and say why not. Like his brother Jack, Bobby Kennedy symbolized youthful idealism to a large part of the 60s generation. We are a great country, and a selfish country, and a compassionate country. There was something magic about him as there was about President Kennedy. When President Lyndon Johnson decided not to run for re-election in 1968 over the escalating Vietnam War, the stage was set for Bobby to follow in his brother's footsteps and run for president. He had a lot going for him, his youthful idealism, his compassion. I think for all of us all over the globe, that we're going to find any answers to the problems that face us and face all of mankind, the hunger and the disease and the illiteracy. What's going to be really required is that we work together. Certainly there were many of us who had uh, this deep belief that he would make a difference. We can make a difference within our own country. He had the Kennedy are, mystique. Thomas Jefferson said, the last best hope of mankind. It all seemed to be coming together for Kennedy the night he won the California primary. It was June 5th. My thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. The euphoria lasted only moments, then confusion. A doctor, we need a doctor. Then horror. Oh, God, God. Oh, oh, no. Not again. Not another Kennedy shot, just five years after JFK, just two months after Martin Luther King. George Bernard Shaw once said, some people see things as they are and say, why, 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 why. History had repeated itself. The assassin was a fanatical Palestinian named Sirhan Sirhan. I think idealism was shattered when Bobby Kennedy um, died. City Club there President some... George Mitrovich was a Kennedy press aide then. He was with Bobby in San Diego the night before the assassination. It was an amazing campaign day, as so many of the days were. I mean, I was never with Robert Kennedy, where there were fewer than two or 3,000 people. I mean, in small towns, in places where you would not expect to find two or 3,000 people. He would draw great, great crowds. Anybody here seen my old John. Bobby had picked up the torch after his brother was struck down. And with Bobby gone, there seemed to be no one left to carry it. In the intervening years, I've often thought about how all of our lives would have been different if Robert Kennedy had lived. Can you tell me where he's gone? I think it would be uh, awfully easy to underestimate uh, the importance of the death of Robert Kennedy. He I think we would have seen a more aggressive move toward achieving equality. I just look around.